tell me about your specialty exactly what you do what's your main interest so i'm a basically a hematologist hemato oncologist and bone marrow transplant specialist we are two people dr vikas dua and me dr vikas dua sees from 0 to 18 years of age and i see from 18 to till the time you are alive any hematological disorder which comes in is there any other treatment like uh, after after like like stem cells uh, before patient for example for the the leukemia when you have like patient with leukemia is there only a bone marrow transplant who is going to fix the the problem or is there any new medicine that they can start medicine and they can get cured without getting the transplant in a acute leukemia any time you develop acute acute leukemia dear friends what happens your genetic makeup undergoes a change and does not follow what the god has planned for you to walk into a straight line so dr is it any saying is all leukemias get a transplant the answer to that is no not every leukemia needs a transplant who requires a transplant and who decides it it is the genetic of genetics of your leukemia which decides itself that whether you require a transplant or not so there is a 922 translocation in ell you will require a transplant while there is a 821 translocation or inversion 16 or 1517 translocation in aml you don't require transplant so 20 30% people in aml do not require transplant dear friends you can be cured by four chemotherapies first second third and fourth but you need to know the genetics of your thing. majority of time what i see and what we have seen and experience is the genetics is not available and that's what we are trying to work out with our partners in various countries how to establish how to strengthen the genomic testing treatment is one thing if i know your genetics well then i can prepare you on day 1 which is like 13th of march i can prepare that you might require a transplant in may you can gather money you can gather your friend you can take care of your heart lung but majority of time what happens is your genetics are not there you get chemotherapy you relapse and then you get a transplant the outcomes goes down okay if you do on a clean slate that if your genetics is high say monosomy 7 i have decided you require a transplant i do an hla typing i collect money for you i take care of your heart i take care of your belly i take care of your food i take care of your muscles i allow ask you to walk 10000 steps every day to pick 2 kg of weight every day to build your muscles and then do a transplant after 2 months the survival will be 80% so the short answer to his complicated question is the answer lies in your genetics one how you respond to the treatment the answer lies to that So if I have a bad disease, if I respond well, I will not require a transplant. Excellent. Yeah. I have a good disease, I respond badly, I will require a transplant. Mm-hmm. So very very important. The criteria is genetics, MRD, minimal residual disease, your outcomes depending on the chemotherapy, how you have responded, and the underlying problems in terms of infection where you are not able to carry on the chemotherapy, and that's why you need to be given. So dear friends what is more important is there is never all or none there is never zero or 100 it is somewhere between so aml 70% will require transplant in pediatric all probably less than 5% will require a transplant mds yes people will require a transplant myelofibrosis 60% will require 40% will not require cml probably less than 5% will require a transplant but other than that they all, all can take up a oral medicine and they can continue that is why if you have a limited finances please plan your therapy very well because the most th- times happens is you keep on spending on chemo 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 where you require a transplant and you don't get a transplant by the time you relapse the only way <coughs> for you to go ahead is do nothing excellent because you have finished all your money so that is why the risk stratification is the paramount important thing in hematological malignancies